Hey everybody, this is Pastor Sean I'm from Cross Point Church in Weatherford, Oklahoma with your God is Awesome and the Bible is Cool vlog coming to you today from Houston, Texas. Um, anyway, I wanted to share with you um, a passage of scripture from the book of Ephesians this morning. It comes from Ephesians chapter 1 verse 22 and 23. Here's what it says. It says, And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. Jesus is the head of the church. That's what it says. That's basically what it's saying. Jesus is the head of the church. And we usually think of head as the leadership in some way, and this is true. But let's think about this for a second. Jesus is the head of the church and we are the body. What does the head of the body do? Your head does many different things. It thinks, it sees, it speaks, it tastes, it smells, it listens. It also controls movement and balance. Jesus then, being the head, acts this way as well. He thinks in such a way as to provide direction. We learn his teachings through reading the word of God. And as we do, we glean a better understanding of how Jesus thought and the actions that came through those thoughts. As the body, we need to see things the way Christ saw them. We need to see sin, and we need to see hurt, and we need to see pain. We need to see the beggar and the prostitute as equals. We need to identify needs, and we need to show love accordingly. God sees men's hearts. He knows their pains and deepest, darkest secrets, and he forgives them when they come to him. When we let Jesus be the eyes for us, we'll be better able to identify what we need to do to him show Christ and how there is healing for hurting a sinful world. Beyond that, if we allow Christ's words to be ours, we can be more we can more effectively minister and evangelize the world around us and beyond. If we listen with a heart after God's, we can discover the joys and pains and needs and desires of others. This too helps us to be a more more effective in being an example for Christ in the community of believers and non-believers alike. I often tell my church, I say, there's three things to do to share the gospel with someone. Number one, ask, what's your story? That's listening. Number two, say, hey, can I tell you my story? That's being able to speak and tell your testimony of what God has done in your life. The third one is ask them the church. If we let Jesus be in control, and guide our movements and balance like the head of the body does. There's no telling what a unified church can do in his name. Scripture is loaded with examples of miracles, healings, changed lives, spiritual victories. The same God that powered the men and women in the Bible also resides in the heart of the believer through the Holy Spirit. God is just waiting for us to tap into the gifts that the Holy Spirit has given us so we can in turn be a body that functions to the level beyond that of an Olympic athlete. It is time to start letting Christ then be the head. Let Christ be our guide. And then let us work as a body in unity to help change lives for God. Let's go forth with that idea. In Jesus' name, amen.